As our technology becomes more and more advanced, it becomes easier to scan the skies and understand what hides behind the light of the stars we see from Earth. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent astronomical discoveries. Milky Way's most mysterious star has a companion. A lot of astronomical research that is taking place is focused on dimming stars. It is one of the first things that is considered when looking into exoplanets, planets outside of our solar system, which is a huge field of study. Therefore, it's unsurprising that the story behind the discovery of a new celestial object began just like that, with a mysteriously dimming star. KIC 846 2852 is a star around 1,480 light years away from us here on Earth and can be found in the Swan constellation Cygnus. While KIC 846 2852 is an ever so memorable name, you can also refer to this star as Boyajian star or Tabiz star. This tale really begins with what is known with aperiodic dips. The star displays big, irregular patterns in dimming, giving a range in the shapes and light produced. This inconsistent nature does not fit with the dimming patterns we observe when we look at an exoplanet. When a star dims, we often consider that a planet could be passing in front of it. So when we look from Earth, it temporarily looks dimmer, as the light is blocked. However, these patterns are much more predictable, not like what is happening with Boyajian's star. This unusual dimming pattern has, of course, piqued interest across the globe, with plenty of suggestions forming as to what could possibly be an explanation. Some have suggested that this could be the result of interstellar clouds. Others have presented the idea that this is a whole host of exocomets, meaning comets that exist outside of our solar system that may be in orbit around the star. Another frequent idea has been that this could be circumstellar dust, a term that refers to the cosmic dust that forms around the star. Often, circumstellar dust settles in a disc-like formation or a shape not dissimilar to a shell. Of course, some theories are a little more unpredictable and possibly a bit more implausible, with some people suggesting this could be debris left over from an exomoon that had melted or even some sort of massive alien infrastructure. Logan Pierce, a steward observatory astronomer and his colleagues, based in the United States and the United Kingdom, published a paper about this star in 2021, in which they explained that the light curve of Boyajian's star perceives deep dips. He continues to explain that we do not yet know what the origin of this peculiar behavior is. But what has been described as a faint star 1.95 has been discovered to the east of Boyajian's star. This was uncovered in images taken from the Near Infrared Camera 2 instrument fitted to the Keck 2 telescope back in 2015. Here the star system status appeared to be binary, though we were not sure if or how that impacted the unusual light patterns. A binary star system means that there are two stars that are gravitationally bound together. This means that they orbit one another. In fact, most of the star systems we know of are binary star systems or have even more than two stars. It's relatively uncommon for a single star system to exist that we know of like our Sun. As the research team completed their study, they analyzed several images captured from the Keck Observatory's Near Infrared Camera 2. There was a total of 51 images looked at, 28 from 2014, 13 from 2016 and 10 from 2019. This analysis revealed that the main star, named Kik 8462852a, is buddied up with a companion star, Kik 8462852b. These are known as a proper motion pair and, as mentioned, form a binary star system. Finding this out reveals quite a bit of information that we did not know before. For example, Kik 8462852b is a bound companion meaning we can presume it follows a Keplerian orbit around the center mass of the system. A Kepler orbit is a principle in celestial mechanics, meaning, in this scenario, that the stars move in a motion that is relevant to one another. 
This is still an exciting discovery. Scientists are not convinced that we have cracked the puzzle and found the answer to the strange dimming. Researchers have deemed it unlikely that there is a direct impact on the light curve of Kick 8462852A because of this secondary star companion. Though it may not be an immediate influencer, there being a secondary star in this system could be a possible source of instability, meaning there could be some disruptions in the long term of the evolution of this system. There is the potential that this caused some sort of snowball effect, bringing creator chaos or instability as time develops. As we broaden our understanding of the area, we should be able to understand the dimming through a wider stellar lens. Astronomers find seven dwarf galaxy groups Dwarf galaxies are small bundles of stars, containing between 1,000 and up to several billion stars. This might sound like a lot, but our own Milky Way galaxy has between 200 and 400 billion stars in it alone. This can make these dwarf galaxies up to 1,000 times smaller than our own galaxy. Researchers have never had too much evidence for this theory, though it is often believed that galaxies are formed when dwarf galaxies merge together. This was until 2017, when a research paper was published giving us some more evidence to back up these claims. Data was collected from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, alongside a handful of optical telescopes. This allowed a team of astronomers to begin their research, a process that began with the observation of seven individual distinctly separate groups of dwarf galaxies. The team noted that the conditions of these dwarf galaxies were perfect to observe and see if they could in fact merge, morphing into one larger galaxy, with the possibility of a spiral galaxy like our Milky Way also being considered. This research could give us substantial evidence to support our claims that what we consider mature galaxies today were once much smaller galaxies billions and billions of years ago. Sabrina Steervolt, an astronomer with the National Radio Astronomy Observatory and the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, explained that we know the universe needs to bring small galaxies together to form a bigger one, but that up until now we could not prove it or show how it happened. She continued to say, For the first time, we have found examples of the first steps in this process. Entire populations of dwarf galaxies that are all bound together in the same general neighborhoods. The team analyzed the data gathered from the SDSS in excruciating detail, looking for dwarf galaxies that looked as though they could be interacting with one another. The team were keeping their eyes peeled for pairs that could be part of bigger assemblies of alike galaxies. Further research was then conducted to put these images into perspective, with the Magellan Telescope in Chile, the Apache Point Observatory in New Mexico, and the Gemini Telescope in Hawaii being used to check that these dwarf galaxies are similar distances from Earth, not just aligned, as this could suggest that they are gravitationally bound together. It is hoped that this study provides some more data for future research groups studying groups of dwarf galaxies. This can offer a glimpse into how galaxies are formed and possibly help people to predict future formation patterns. Incredible picture of a massive black hole 3.9 billion light years away. We have plenty of movies and theories about what happens when black holes get too big, too out of control, or if we get too close to them. A black hole is a part of space in which the gravitational force is so large that not even light can escape. As far as we know, the strength of the gravity would mean that anything that enters the black hole would be torn apart. This includes stars. In 2014, NASA shared with us all a breathtaking image of a black hole sat a staggering 3.9 billion light years away from Earth. This black hole was so large and so powerful it has prevented a possible trillions of stars from existing and forming in the space surrounding it. This black hole has what is known as superheated gases around it. In the midst of this gas sits a cluster of galaxies, creating the perfect spot for this black hole. Of course, black holes are not surrounded by nothingness in space. 
There are plenty of galaxies seen in the picture, blending into, melting into, and falling into the black hole. NASA managed to capture this stunning image through combining those taken by both the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. A little work between the images to compile them all together resulted in a stunning picture of one of the most powerful black holes we have ever recorded. We are lucky to be able to see beauties like this in our universe. Hopefully there is plenty more for us to see out there. But what do you make of these fascinating discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.